The decreasing cost and power consumption of intelligent devices at the edge of the internet are creating massive opportunities. ARM has been exploring the use of cloud-native technology and methodologies in edge environments to evaluate their effectiveness at addressing these problems at scale. One such case is the Smart City. These use cases are part of the Smarter project under the ARM Research Group. This project applies and adapts cloud-native technologies in resource-constrained edge use cases with the goal of making the cities and towns that people live in smarter for the purpose of improving the quality of life. The Smart Cities use case involves deploying various sensor arrays scattered across the entire city, measuring temperature, humidity, pollution, traffic patterns, pedestrian traffic. This data serves in optimizing and improving traffic flows and pedestrian safety while controlling pollution. In addition to the Smart Cities use case, there are other use cases like Smart Agriculture, where water levels are closely monitored in wells and other bodies of water to utilize the water resources efficiently. Another example is the Smart Rural Project that basically monitors climate change, wildfires, and other natural calamities in rural lands. All of these use cases are made possible through the Smarter Project's deployable reference designs that help to securely deploy machine learning onto edge devices. This also includes managing the edge device and the data that the edge device generates. The data is most probably processed at the edge, although in some cases it's backhauled to the cloud using 5G networks. This is the complete technology stack for the Smarter project. On the left side, you see the edge platform, which is the hardware that hosts and manages the firmware, secure booting of the operating system, host your virtual machines and containers, and orchestrate workloads within them. Here we interface the sensor arrays and deploy ML engines. On the right hand side, we see the data aggregation piece of this use case. This is either hosted in the cloud or on the 5G network. For the Smart City demo, we created a K3S cluster with the primary node hosted on an AWS M6G instance. These instances are based on the ARM Neoverse platform. The edge side of this demo is located in our lab. Here we used a variety of hardware platforms which include the NVIDIA Jetson Nano, the Jetson NX, and a Raspberry Pi all of which are running K3S. Each of these platforms has a camera and a microphone attached to it. The cameras are used to count the cars and pedestrians that the edge nodes see, and the microphones are used for classification of the sound that's occurring in the vicinity of these nodes. The edge nodes send some of their sensor data back to the AWS cloud. In the cloud, we have a data node that aggregates all the information from the different nodes for further processing and decision making. Let's look at this in action. Here in the lab, we set up an image of a car and a small toy. The toy represents a person. The inference engine on this edge node uses the camera data to identify the objects. So as you can see, the green rectangle is used to highlight the car and the red rectangle is used to highlight the person. Now let's look at the data. In this case, we are using Grafana, an open source analytics and monitoring dashboard hosted on our data node in AWS. When we select the node, for example, the NVIDIA Jetson NX, we see the number of cars and people detected. We also see sound classification data. The green dots are vehicles, the blue dots are people talking, and the orange dots represent music. Further down, we see a table showing sound classification probabilities. This is a short demonstration of what the smarter use cases look like. For example, you can see a real edge device used for smart city monitoring with a compact footprint and multiple sensors. These sensors track multiple data points which can be seen in the data dashboard. So here we have the Grafana dashboard. This is hosted on AWS in our data node. And if you look at the first row, you'll see a few metrics that are called cloud CPU utilization, cloud memory utilization, and so on. And these are just metrics on that data node so that we understand how loaded that data node is in case we need to scale it or, or anything. The next row under we have weather. This is data that's coming from the edge nodes that have uh, weather sensors. So we see temperature, we see pressure, we see relative humidity, as well as rain. Now, if we look further down, we'll also see respiratory load, 
So this is, you know, things related to the air. So for example, we have uh, air quality, altitude, wind direction, as well as speed. Uh, further down, we also have a camera connected and a microphone connected to this node. So we can see the car count on the bottom left and the person count on the bottom right as well. And then we go further down and we can see some of that sound classification data. Uh, for example, at the very bottom, we see all the detection probabilities of dif uh, different sounds that, that are heard. Thank you for watching this short demonstration.